scalar product in terms of rectangular components. So in rectangular components, we usually write for a vector A as AX I cap plus AY J cap plus AZ K cap. Similarly, for a vector B arrow, I can write it as in terms of rectangular component as BXI plus BYJ plus BZK. Now, A dot B. So this A dot B means AXI plus AYJ plus AZK dot instead of B, I write BXI plus BYJ plus BZK. Okay. Again, A dot B arrow is equals to. Now here I will apply that distributed law. So in the distributed law, we can see here, this is the, uh, you know, this is the first term of the bracket. So I can write AXI dot the second term. That means AXI dot BXI plus BYJ plus BZK. Okay, the next term is plus AYJ. Now taking the dot product of this term with the bracket, you get like this. BXI plus BYJ plus BZ. Okay. Next, with the third term, that is AZ K cap. Taking dot, you get AZ K cap dot BXI plus BYJ plus BZ K. Okay. So, A dot B, again, it is equals to. Now, again, we apply the distributive law in this equation. So taking the distributive law first with axi dot bxi. So you'll get ax bx i dot i. And we have seen in the previous video in the property of a scalar product i dot i is equals to 1. So this is just ax bx. Plus next you'll get ax by ax by i dot g. And for i dot g we have seen is equals to 0. So 0 times this will be 0. So that means there will be no contribution from axi dot byj. Similarly, the contributions of axi dot bzk also will be 0 because i dot k is 0. Next, ayj dot bxj. When you take the product of j dot i is 0, so therefore the contributions from ayj dot bxi will be 0. But ayj dot byj j dot j is equals to 1. So you'll have a y b y. a y b y. Third term will be 0 because j dot k is 0. Similarly for the last term, k dot i is 0, k dot j is 0, but k dot k is 1, so you'll get a z b z. a z b z. Okay. So this is a dot b in terms of rectangular component. So with this uh, equations of a dot b, then, if you remember in the last property, we have written cos theta is equals to A dot B upon magnitude of A, magnitude of B. But A dot B, how much is A dot B now? It is equals to AX, BX plus AY, BY plus AZ, BZ. Okay, what about magnitude of A? If you remember, the magnitude of A is equals to root a x square plus a y square plus a z square. So I'll write root a x square plus a y square plus a z square. Similarly for magnitude of b, I can say b x square plus b y square plus b z square. Okay, so this is cos theta. So only theta, it will be cos inverse of this thing. Ax bx plus ay by plus az bz upon root over ax square plus ay square plus az square times root over b 
bx square plus by square plus bz square. Okay, so this is how to find the angle theta between two vectors a and b using the concept of rectangular components. So once you know the magnitude of ax, bx, ay, by, and az, bz, then you can find easily about the angle theta between the two vectors a arrow and b arrow.